What's up everyone? I'm Andrew with Indie Direct, doing this video in collaboration with MGN TV. We both review indie games, and if you want to check out my channel, the link's going to be down in the description. And today, we're going to be looking at Shut In from Kale O'Sullivan, a dark comedy psychological horror game that explores depression and isolation by trapping you inside your own house. Explore a hostile home, solve puzzles, and withstand sarcasm from the rude and unreliable narrator. Shut In is a really interesting game, starting off with the narrator, that honestly seems lazy. Not even really wanting to tell you how to play the game, always belittling you and making you feel like you're an idiot. If you can't tell by that kind of short description, I believe the narrator is the voice of the main character's depression, always picking at him at his looks, the way he smells, how he eats, and doesn't want him to leave the house. Starting off the game, you wake up and you're told by the narrator that you need to wash up, brush your hair and teeth, and go get some fresh air. Exiting your room, things already seem to be a little off, and looking at the stairs, you have a long way to go. Once you make it to the bottom of the stairs, you're greeted to what looks like your house, but is just drawn on the walls. You find doors to twisted versions of the rooms. You need to solve the puzzles to gain items to help you along in your journey, some that require you to think outside of the box and don't quite make sense. Along your journey, you will run into many ways to die as well. One early one is that when you pass the candlelight in the hall next to your room, it will explode and puncture your face with many fragments of glass. Many of these pitfalls are scattered around, and when you die, you're greeted with a sarcastic cheer and the narrator's witty comments. But you will return to whatever room you last entered, so don't worry too much about dying. Actually, make it a challenge to find them all. Now, there are a different endings to this game. I believe I have found them all but one, which is leaving the house, if it even exists. So you'll have a lot of replayability trying to find them all. At the end of each playthrough, the narrator will assess how long it took you to play, how many events killed you, and the amount of items you've found, and gives you a grade, which is honestly what you think. They're not nice. This is a wonderful game. I love the comedy, and there are some times of tension. If you're looking for a unique puzzle game, this is a great choice. If you guys think you want to take a look at this one, I have a link in the Steam page down in the description, as well as the channel's Discord if you want to join. Don't forget to leave a like, guys, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video, and have fun.